Leave it up to me to start a vlog and put the camera down for days and never pick it back up. I got y'all sitting on the counter in the most rigged up way. If this tripod falls and my camera breaks, it's totally, totally, totally my fault and my fault alone. <laughs> but I want to talk to y'all while I put this stuff up real quick. How are y'all doing? Make sure you let me know in the comment section how you're doing. I always want to check in with y'all. Make sure y'all are feeling good and doing well too. Um, I'm doing all right. Like I said, I haven't vlogged this week. I've just been doing a lot of admin work, a lot of editing, um, a lot of like social media management work. Um, get some invoices turned in paying some bills it's, it's still the first of the month it's still the first week of the month um also like been trying to apply for some different jobs and stuff like that so that's just what i've been taking the time to do so far this week also if the fan is a is annoying you my bad okay my bad. um but yeah like i said i've been cooking this week so trying to save money in that way like by not eating out and here i am getting ready to go eat out because but yeah, um, I actually am looking forward to this weekend. I have some plans. I'm going to an event. I feel like I'm always saying this, and I've been saying this a lot lately, like, oh, I'm going to an event, I'm going to an event. And one of y'all left a comment recently that was just like, oh, like, I wish I could go to events. So I wanted to kind of touch base on that real quick and tell you guys a few different ways that you can kind of get into more like brand events or at least this is this is how I did it. I have to always make that disclaimer. I don't know how much things have changed really um, since I first kind of entered this industry in this field. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to chat with y'all real quick and tell you like, let me give y'all some tips. Hold up. <laughs> okay, so this is the thing. <laughs> So first things first, I work in PR and social media management. Sometimes I'm invited to events based off of that, like my work. And sometimes I'm invited to events based off content creation and being an influencer, right? So when I first started out in this industry, I was creating content, but I was more so focused on my, um, on my career with like PR and social media management. So I would go to the events as more like an industry professional. At this point in time, I was mostly like paying for events, paying for tickets. Um, there would always be like events like Summit 21. I don't think that's around anymore. It's by um, Blavity. They have a sub brand called 2190 and they would do that event here in Atlanta. Um, there was stuff like Curl Fest. Um, I've gone to Essence Festival a few times for work. I've gone to New York Fashion Week a few times for work. Um, but during those times, I would make sure that I network with the right people and just build connections that are like long lasting. I don't care what nobody tell you who you know is going to always get you further than what you know, in a lot of cases, like that just is what it is. But that's what I'm but that's why I always just like push the importance of building genuine relationships with people and just being like kind and being respectful overall. So um, there's that. Now, in today's time, brands are looking for influencers and content creators who are going to create content for them so if you do happen to go to an event just make sure you do some sort of recap for it because other brands will see that and be like oh like this this influencer actually or this creator actually enjoys in attending events they enjoy creating content at the event they enjoy filming everything and they're going to share it with their audience that's what they're looking for so like if you go to an event say for instance you go to something that you have to pay for whatever um like a curl fest let's use curl fest for example you go to curl fest you get a ticket to curl fest make a recap video of your time at curl fest make sure you post that tag all the brands that were there that were like vending that were in the goodie bags because they're going to see that um I've sometimes gone to an event at one place and I tagged the other like a featured brand in that particular video and they've reached out to me based off that. You just have to like kind of work hard to and I don't want to be like oh you got to work hard because it's like who wants to work hard but you got to work hard to just kind of like put your name out there build connections with brands like that is still very much relevant even in today's content creator climate. Um, 
another way to kind of like get into events is to just like stay on top of what's happening in your area that now I, I will say this i do understand that i live in a very popular city i live in atlanta there's literally something to do here every hour of every day i promise you there's not a boring day in atlanta it's not gonna always be something that i want to go to but there's gonna always be something going on but you need to just like get out in your city pop-ups for different brands grant openings for local businesses um you can also attend stuff like uh, little music festivals concerts you know just kind of go go out position yourself as somebody who enjoys attending events and going out to events if i sound all over the place with this it's because i'm hungry okay and when i look back at the footage and if it don't sound like it flow i'll revisit this and we'll have a real conversation about it how that sound <laughs> hey y'all it is so dark in here because it's so gloomy outside today's saturday leave it up to me to start a vlog and put the camera down for days and never pick it back up I'm gonna do better <laughs> but I'm getting ready to go um I'm running a little late not too late but late all the same <laughs> I'm going to a kicks over brunch event with kicks and froze super excited um it starts at 11 30 it is currently 11 17 so as soon as I put my shoes on we're leaving I'm feeling a very I'm feeling a bit matchy matchy but it's all good. Um, the outfit I originally wanted to wear, the weather is not going to allow for it. It is in the 40s right now. So, yeah, I was going to wear um, this little dress and some sneakers. But, child, it's too cold and I'd be wanting to be comfortable. But I am wearing these dunks. I think they're called like Rose Whisper. I got them for obvious reasons. If you know, you know, it's my favorite color. Um, but yeah, I've only worn them like one other time, maybe two times, one or two times. So I was like, oh, let's, let's pull them out. <laughs> it's spring. So yeah, hopefully, you know, the outfit translates because I definitely threw it together like last minute and it, it just like matches a lot. Like it's not what I would have wanted to wear. Cause the dress code was like sniffing <laughs> sneaker chic, but I didn't want to buy anything new and also like, you know, so I'm going to show y'all what I'm wearing. Still trying to figure out a bag. Also, it looks crazy in here. So please. So I'm really just wearing the jacket, a turtleneck jeans and the dunks. And this is very, very Janae, very simple. But it works and yeah let's go <laughs> y'all it is raining so bad like and i think i have to park like a block away from the actual venue so i'm just like because why do i not own an umbrella it's like i had one and i feel like last year like last summer i had a rental car temporarily when my car was getting repaired and i'm pretty sure i left my umbrella in the rental car and i just never bought another one um so there's that also y'all i switched shoes because i just felt like i looked tacky and all that pink like this is a lot of pink so i put on my ama manier jordan threes um yeah, there are like, uh, I do have a lot of sneakers. I like love, love, love sneakers. Um, but I don't wear them like I used to because like I told y'all before, I've gotten really lazy about my style. However, there are like three pair of sneakers I have my eye on and I want to get a new pair of Stan Smiths because mine are like old. I've had them for like ever <laughs> and I want a new pair, but, um, yeah, there's like three new pair of sneakers I really, really want to get. I really want to invest. What's in my back seat? Oh, <laughs> I really want to invest in some soon. So, yeah, but I don't know. I just put these on because I wore them last night and they were at the door. So, it was just like, you know, put these on. They're just a little bit better. Probably better off wearing those too because um, I got to walk and it's raining. Dunks are not the most comfortable shoes. I know that they're like one of the most popular sneakers right now only have two pair um but they're not like super comfortable to me i always have to add an extra insole into them when i wear them so 
there's that but yeah y'all i am about to turn on some music so i can vibe out on my way it's 11 minutes away so not too long not too long but still it's this rain and having to walk that's kind of like Full of myself a room, but you ain't looking at no other dudes cause you love me. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> so you think about a chance. You find yourself trying to do my dance. Maybe cause you love me. As you can see, ponytail. Listen, I had to take it out in the car because there was a bobby pin that was killing me. Um, I used a one pin to secure like the piece that I wrap around to conceal like the weft. And I don't know, but the placement was like killing me. But she's right here. <laughs> we got to give her a name. I'm actually going to shampoo and condition her for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Easter. I'll be going to church. Let me get out of the dark. Um, yeah, the kicks over brush was super, super cute. I'm about to show y'all what's in the goodie bag, which is right here. I need, I need a nap. I need to go to sleep. But yeah, so this is the George nosy. This is the bag, super cute. So she did collab with Amazon and um the movie Air, which is about Jor Michael Jordan and how he, um, how his mom, like, I think, if I'm not mistaken, because do not quote me, but I think it's about the way that um, his mom was able to land and solidify his deal with like Nike and just kind of his journey and stuff like that. But anyway, so champagne glass that we got to take home. Very cute. I actually have two of these. <laughs> so the other one is in my purse up at the front. Got some cookies. Looks like one of my cookies got messed up. But one is Kicks Over Brunch. And the other says Air Georgia. Back up. You cannot have those cookies. Also got, oh, this is cute. This is really cute. It's a Jason Mark. Jason Mark was actually there. I think y'all saw me get my shoes clean. But Jason Mark is like one of the top like solutions for cleaning your shoes. Oh, this is so cute. This is a limited edition care kit um, in collaboration with Amazon and Air. So it does have like the brush in it. Yeah, I needed this. I need this so bad because I ran out like years ago and never bought, never bought more. But this is the little foam condition to clean your sneakers. This is the brush. And then this is a little towel. How cute, I love that. I can feel it, y'all. After I uh, shampoo and wash that ponytail, I'm going to go to sleep. I need a nap. <laughs> it's four o'clock. Well, it's 4:21. Okay, got some candy, like movie candy. Good and plenty in runts. I haven't had runts in forever. What else is in here? Pop rocks. 
Oh wow. Nerds. No, this is not nerds. This is more pop rocks. Shoe strings. <gasps> Kicks and froze air shoe strings. How cute. How cute. I don't have any like black and red sneakers, but I'll have to they might look that might look good in my forces. I'll have to see. I don't know what this is. Cute. I just noticed the um, design on it. Are these? Are these sunglasses? Are these like the sunglasses that Ben Affleck is wearing in the movie? Let me see. They are. Let me see if I can show y'all. So if you see, this is like the movie poster. This is Ben Affleck's character right here. He was wearing these sunglasses. Uh-uh. What y'all think? Can I pull these off? I think not. I think not. <laughs> but so cute. There, it's like a little shoe box, but there, um, it's a box for sunglasses, which is very cute. This is a good bag. I'm gonna have to text Melissa and be like, girl, this, this was an amazing goodie bag, and there's still even more. Oh my goodness! We got a little decal, kickaholic, as well as an enamel pin, kicks and froze. So I will put Melissa's information in the description box. It is a really, really, really dope platform that she has. Um, if you like sneakers, so it's, it's oh, this is cute too. It's a really cool female sneaker community. They're constantly posting like drops, um, inspo for outfits, little interactive posts and stuff like that. So yeah, very, 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 very cute event. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm about to change clothes, shampoo, and condition my ponytail that we have to come up with a name. Two of y'all gave me a name. One of you said um, Drea, <laughs> and someone else said Anastasia. So we're going to have to choose between those two. But, oh, this is such a rainy, gloomy Saturday. Like, it's been raining literally all day um i'm not a fan of like moving and shaking in the rain people here don't know how to drive it gets kind of dangerous i had to be very cautious on my way back home because like that parking garage y'all first of all i had to park on the eighth floor of the parking garage that's so high okay that's very high it's tight the parking spot is like i mean the parking the garage was like a really tight corner type of situation coming in and out that was also but that's also where we were is also the parking that's designated for people who are going to the georgia aquarium as well as the coca-cola factory and just that area of downtown is very tourist heavy so that parking garage that i was in is just used for all kind of stuff now we did get to validate the parking so it was free because parking in there is like thirty dollars so good deal on that, but still, it was, it was a dangerous situation. But yeah, let me gather, gather myself. I feel like I'm out of breath. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Come on now. <laughs> I have not been on the camera in days. <laughs> now, I've been getting a lot of, um, it's me in the middle of traffic trying to put a shoe on. I've been getting a lot of, like, admin work done. Um, oop. Sometimes I'll have these like spurts with like one of my social media clients where we'll be at like the start of the month and because I like to kind of be ahead on some projects, I'll just like buckle down and I end up taking like four days of full work on just social media. Um, at the light, use the right lane. Management work and I don't film, I don't work on my own content, but what that has allowed me to do is like take the rest of the month to like focus on myself because I'm so ahead so yeah um but yeah today is Wednesday I am currently headed to McAllister's I want to do like a little work lunch session um and I need to edit the rest of tomorrow's vlog so that's what I'm going to finish up today I also need to make the thumbnail um and I'm hungry <laughs> so I was like let me grab some lunch and do that all at once um I am going home this week. I'm so excited, y'all, because 
I'm ready to see my family, mostly my nephew. <laughs> but um, I'm just looking forward to like spending time with my family. Also, I'm going to, my little sister plays drums, one of my little sisters, and I've never been to any of her showcases or her performances. I always get the videos and like, you know, that stuff, but I've never been in person and she's really good. Um, but she has a showcase this weekend and I'm excited because I'm going and I've never been. <laughs> So there's that and then I'm also excited because um, my best friend Whitney, her birthday was yesterday and I haven't spent one of her birthdays with her in forever. We haven't spent a birthday together in forever. Um, but she's having a birthday brunch on Sunday. She also just launched a business this week so I'm very excited to, um, for her. So I'm just ready to go home and celebrate all the wins and see my family. Um, yeah. <sighs> All right, we don't pull up at McAllister's, so let's get out. Go in. please talk about how pressed I was excited okay and ready to go home to visit my family only to get there and basically not vlog the entire time I was there yeah so last week I did go to Jacksonville I was there from Friday until yesterday which was Monday so just a few days um actually yesterday was Tuesday so Tuesday I wanted to stay longer and I originally intended to however I got books for a shoot here in Atlanta, which is today at five. So that's what we're about to go do. But first we gotta go to Target cause I have a couple things I need to pick up. Either way y'all, yeah, I gotta do a better job at like vlogging when I'm home. Sometimes it's like, I'll get there and I haven't seen my family in a while. And then we just start doing stuff when it's a lot of moving pieces. And then I'm just like, not picking up the camera. <sighs> Next time I go home though, I will be, I will, I will vlog for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Y'all, this is great. Hi, guys. So 
So remember that shoot I did back in November with the Black Hair Experience? This was my wonderful makeup artist. That's me. Yes, look at this look. It looks so good. Zoe Kravitz inspired, but it looks yes. better. Yeah, she it did looks... it better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, y'all. So I didn't do an official outro to this video, so I wanted to just create a clip really quick to thank you guys for watching. I accidentally deleted the intro and... I was just like, oh my gosh, I got to get it together because I'm always deleting footage by mistake and opening and closing my vlogs without saying anything. And I'm definitely trying to stop doing that. And maybe I need to do like a pre-recorded intro just in case it happens, you know, but I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. See y'all in my next video. Bye.